that's a million dollar smile right there, man. <laughs> uh, anyways, what's up, Lucia Gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly G. This is Lucky Lou. What Make sure you stay true and hit the like button. Don't be ahead on your life. Oh, subscribe right now. And also turn your notifications by clicking on the little bell that we get notified every time we upload a new video. It's a new day. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? There's only the now. There is no past, there is no future, there is only the now. Don't get caught up in Monday through Friday, man. That's the trap they want to keep us in. They, they lied to us. They don't want us to know that there is only the present moment that we are living in. I agree. Breathe in that air, man. I agree. Anyways, it's Wednesday and <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of stuff that we need to get done. And I actually have been wanting to try um, this vegan spot called Cascabel here in Houston. Um, shout out to Steph. She's the one that put me on. Uh, so I think we're going to go eat Can some eat brunch from Cascabel. It says right here, exact change or card only. They finna get rid of all paper money. Watch. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. They're trying to slowly but surely wing us off of paper money. We stopped to get some green tea. If you haven't tried Panera Bread's green tea it's delicious um but what about my shirt you guys i'm over here rocking um the yeah. texas collection of her apparel if y'all don't know what it is this is marisol's collection this is her merch she sent me her um texas chain that's chingo bling's wife for y'all that don't know why do you always have to say saturday we're, like gonna go, we're gonna go see chingo bling at the improv comedy this saturday and he's gonna be performing in houston his comedy show him and his fellow comedians so that should be funny and we're gonna go check that out this saturday night i'm so excited for it like whenever i heard well Whenever we collabed, if y'all haven't seen the video of us collabing with them, they told us that September he was going to have a show here in Houston. So we've been anticipating it since then, you know? And like now September's here and they posted it on Instagram and I was just like so hyped. I like got on the. Uh, she went and bought the tickets. I'm like, that's Chingo. We ain't going to buy the tickets. But you got to support. You know what I'm saying? I like hurry up and, and like really went and copped some seats. I caught some I caught some tickets because I wasn't about to miss that. I didn't even tell Lucky. I just told him next weekend, date night, you, me, your sister, and your brother-in-law, we're going, we're doing it. I don't care what you say. So I set up everything. I set up the babysitter. I got the seats and everything. And yeah, well, anyways, I'm wearing the Texas collection from her apparel. Thank you so much for sending it to me, Money Soul. It's it lemonade. Is dope. I love it. You don't want it? Okay. Um, I'm going to give it a Leah Leah. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to go try Well, we're going to go try Cascabel, which is a vegan Mexican spot. And I can't wait to show y'all what's up. We ain't eating vegan because I'm trying to lose weight either. Somebody told me, uh, somebody left a comment. You know how some people be hating, talking about you've been running every day and you still ain't swole. I ain't trying to get swole or trying to lose weight. Wrong. Daily discipline is how you able to attract success and be able to accomplish your goals by having daily discipline that you do on a daily basis. That's why I run every day, it ain't to lose weight. I'm not eating vegan because I'm trying to lose weight or because I just love animals. I'm trying to decalcify my pineal gland. You got it, I mean? And that's how you attract more beauty into your life. See this beautiful creature right here sitting next to me? A creature. You are a beautiful he creature. He just called me a creature. I don't know if it's an insult. You are a beautiful cre God creation. That creature is store for creation. You are a beautiful God creation, baby. God created you with love and beauty. I know that. I attracted you into my life. <laughs> I'm surrounded by beauty. All right, Sir Garcia, I think that's enough. <laughs> just arrived to God's Mexican and vegan. Whoa. You know when the 
the, the restaurant's like a little house, you know they're good. I mean, it remind you of your grandma's house. This the whole restaurant right here. That's it. But man, it smell good. It smell good. Houston gonna get him a corn chai. Yo, so we got two of these platters. I don't really know which one's which, but we have al pastor, we have tinga, we have Mexican brisket. The beans, I tasted these beans, they're bomb. Cilantro rice. I wanted the Spanish rice, so we're trying both. Then we got another platter of the tacos. We got the flautas on deck. And then Lucky got a tostada. I don't remember what it's called, but we're Diablo. about to ask. Yeah. The Diablo? Yeah. Yeah, so this all looks so delicious. Houston, are you ready to eat? <laughs> okay, so this is red cabbage. Uh, I forgot what else was on there. <laughs> but I'm gonna find out. Let's see. <laughs> the way you fit into that. Tastes like beans. Go ahead. So we've got the owners here. Crystal, David. So this is our um, tostada diablo. This was actually created by her. Yeah. So Wait, I used to make that whenever I got hungry, but I didn't want like what was on the menu. Yeah. And so I would always go in the kitchen and pile a whole bunch of stuff on it, and then I would eat it in the back. And then one time he saw me eating it, and then I was like, what are you eating? Like, what's on there? And I'm like, Oh, you're not gonna like it. Too much stuff on it. You're not gonna like it. And then he had some, and he was like, "Why is this not on the menu?" Yeah, it was all that. Like, yeah, no, it's good. It tastes like there's. I taste the beans in there, but I don't know what else is in there. But the salsa. <laughs> the, the salsa has a yeah no, and it has a backstory to it. So that salsa comes from a. Uh, uh, it's a family in Mexico, and. Um, I can't remember exactly what part of Mexico, but the whole story is that the, the narcos uh -huh. were um, like getting money off of them. They would sell this salsa, mm -hmm. and then they would go and collect like a fee from them. They so kept kidnapping they them. They kept, kept kidnapping them. Yeah, that's right. And they kept getting ransom. So he he brought all this salsa like buckets of them. He brought it and he brought it here to the United States. Yeah. And uh, he spoke with some this people. Hot. Oh yeah, that one we make it here. Yeah. And then that one, uh, well, he brought it here, and now he's like, I think he he got like like protection here or something. Yeah. He got like a visa because they found out that he was getting kidnapped and everything, and he has wow. a business. So now he's here, and we're exclusive. We're the only restaurant that sells that stuff. And that's the one on top. Yeah, that's the one on top. It's yeah. actually uh, Chipotle, but he dries it out. He dries it out for months. And then once it's super dry, he makes it with oil and garlic and onion, but everything sauteed and then blends it in. Yeah, it tastes good. Everything together, the taste is good. And then what kind of meat is that? Because that, that was real oh, good. Okay, so that's yes, actually... Yes, hold on, take a wild guess what that is. I don't I have no it's idea. A, it's a plant, obviously. It's a plant? plant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have never it's thought it's not of a fruit. It's actually a plant, like yeah. leaves. Wait, 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 wait. The flauta. Yeah. The flauta. It's actually an agua fresca. <laughs> we make agua fresca out of the... the Guess what it is. It's hibiscus. I'm tasting it now. The, the flower, like literally we have the, the full flowers. And it's then, actually sweet. Now that I just take the meat. Well, but with all the, the spices, and when it's all together, it tastes like meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like shredded, uh, like brisket. Yeah, 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 shredded yeah. beef. Yeah. And we make everything by hand. Uh, we have a lot of people asking us if we sell like the chorizo and stuff. Like if, if we, where do we buy it from or, or is it frozen, whatever. And we're like, no, we literally make it in the kitchen. Like wow. buckets and buckets and leave it marinated overnight. So we don't buy anything. Everything's made in house. Yeah, Even yeah. the flour tortillas, everything. How long have y'all had this restaurant? Since November. Oh, well, since late November. November, so since December. Yeah, it was the last weekend Y'all heard it here first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so really good, right. too. Yeah. What? Let them know the address. 1415 Mary Bay Street, Houston, Texas, 77080 in Spring Branch. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, guys. It's delicious. And, uh, enjoy. Um, I know it's, it's getting cold now. Right? <laughs> 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 the microwave. <laughs> We don't have a
<laughs> Thank you. Yo, they legit just hooked it up with some dessert. I used to crave this when I was pregnant with Houston. Thank you. I am about to dig in. Let me see what it is. Can you, can you get a, him one of those donuts right in there? Which one? Uh, which one is gonna get a bag? Yeah, churro donuts, stuffed churro donuts. The churro donuts. donuts. The, you want all the sprinkles? Yeah. I've never looked at it. Yo, this right here is life. You gonna eat that one? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna eat that one? Do you want that one? Cause if not, I'm about to eat. Yeah. What are these? They're raisins. Or prunes, or I don't know. Go ahead. Lucky ain't waste no time. Well, Ooh. heading out. It's a little wet out here. I guess it rained while we were in there. Come on, Houston. Just got in the car. <gasps> I'm so stuffed. Me too. I can't believe we just ate vegan Mexican food and it was like legit bomb.com. So the Luciano TV rating on my end is a six and a half. I thought we only go up to five, five stars. That's why it's a six and a half. Oh, okay. Because for it to be vegan, like, oh my God, all the spices, the way they like present it, like that, that right there, like just the presentation went a long way for me. And then that dessert, like just was like the cherry on top, man. That arroz con like, oh my God. The best thing I ate was the flautas. I couldn't believe that was, what did you say, hibiscus? Yeah, it was like a plant. Man, it tasted like shredded beef flautas. Honestly. So if you're ever in Houston or if you live in Houston and you want to check it out, make sure you go and follow them on their social media at Cascabel. Man, I'm over here working hard editing this vlog and I realized Kelly ain't even in the vlog. We have no ending to our vlog. So I guess we're going to end it right here. I hope y'all had a great day. We're wishing you love, peace, and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, hold up, baby. Look, I never knew this type of love. You brought me out that wicked place, that place I was. You breathe into my soul and now you call me son. Lord, sanctify me with your truth, come fill me up.